I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. We are at Gizmodo, talking about how cosmic rays could help unlock the secrets of the pyramid. I want to warn you ahead of time, personally, I don't trust any information coming out of something that has a name like Gizmodo. I mean, seriously, seriously, if they wanted people to take them seriously, would you have really called yourself Gizmodo? Sound like a Komodo dragon's sillier brother. And nobody trusts Komodo dragons, man. They are good luck, though. There's a long and colorful history of people trying to unlock the secrets of how the Egyptian pyramids were built, and to possibly find hidden rooms and corridors for good measure and treasure, and possibly curses, man. Those things are cursed. And now, a new international project aims to peer through the stone walls of these ancient structures using cosmic rays. Okay, sweet. That's cool. Uh, Indiana Jones could have used technology. Crap. Actually, the Scan Pyramids project will use several different cutting-edge techniques to not non-invasively image pyramids in Giza and Dasher, thermal imaging, drone-mounted scanners, and a technique called Muon Tomography. The project will kick off November 2016 and will run for a full year with the support of the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities. Oh crap, didn't Nostradamus warn us of this? I'm telling you guys, you're just gonna unlock a curse. That's okay, I guess. Like, everything's cursed these days. How many curses can one plant have? Science, can you tell me that? I would like to know. Muon Tomography works a bit like X-ray imaging or ground penetrating radar, except the technique uses muon cosmic rays rather than X-rays or radio waves. You see, high energy cosmic rays can penetrate more deeply through very dense substances like stones used to build the pyramids. Well, ain't that great? Do they use any of these technologies to peer through our walls in our houses, in our apartments, in our buildings? Probably not because they respect our civil rights. I would imagine asterisk whatever. Matt, I gotta stop being such a dumbass. Note to self. This isn't the first time cosmic rays of the muon variety have been adapted to archaeological purposes. Did you know back in the 1950s? Back in the 1950s, an engineer named E.P. George used a muon-based technique to measure an Australian tunnel. That's weird. So he penetrated the tunnel with cosmic rays. That's fascinating. But most famously, the Nobel Prize winning physicist Luis Alvarez collaborated with the Egyptian archaeologists in 1960s to search for hidden chambers in the Khafre Pyramid at Giza. He set up a type of muon detector known as a spark chamber underneath the pyramid. The idea was that a hidden chamber wouldn't be as dense as the rest of the structure. Great idea. Shit burgers. Come on, dickwad. All right. The idea was that a hidden chamber... Oh, crap. Did I read that? More muons would get through instead of being blocked, and this should show up clearly in the resulting image. And it worked. As a proof of principle, anyway. It seemed to be a void in the pyramid structure. Unfortunately, no hidden rooms were discovered. But muon tomography has been a popular imaging technique ever since. Muons are being used to hunt for illegally transported nuclear materials at border crossings and to monitor active volcanoes in hopes of detecting when they might erupt. Well, that's weird. I believe it, but I do believe science doesn't really talk about volcanoes that much. Like, if you do a lot of video searches, like science is blabbermathing about volcanoes in the 80s, and science is blabbermathing about volcanoes in the 90s, in the very early 2000s, it's still kind of chattering about it, and then boom. They just shut up about volcanoes. They're like, hey man, we don't have time to worry about volcanoes. We're going to stop the climate from changing. And I'm like, I'd like to talk about volcanoes. And they're like, why do you deny? Whatever. See, I got cursed by just reading the article on pyramids. My sense of humor is gone. Wherever did you go, sense of humor? In hopes of detecting when they might erupt. Back in 2008, scientists at the University of Texas, Austin, tried to follow in Alvarez's footsteps, repurposing old muon detectors to search for possible hidden mine runes in Belize. And now, muon detectors are once again being pressed into service for scanning Egyptian pyramids. One contentious issue that will hopefully be resolved is the nature of mysterious spiral structures within the pyramids. Some archaeologists agree with French architect Jean-Pierre Houdin that these are evidence that the structures may have been built from the inside. What? That's interesting. According to Mehdi Tewibi, founder of the French arts heritage nonprofit HIP and a member of the Scan Pyramids Project, others remain skeptical. I want the team to be in a humble position as many have tried before 
to work out the mysteries of the pyramids. But we're really excited if we find something that's going to allow us to understand how the pyramids were built. This is one of the greatest mysteries. Well, man, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the pyramids are cursed, so I wouldn't mess with them. But, like, scientists don't believe in superstition. So I guess they'll go ahead. I wonder how much this costs. And I wonder how much NASA and the NSA use Muon technology to scan everything we do everywhere we go. Probably a lot. They just don't talk about it much. Just like volcanoes. Sweet! 2015. The world is foobar. I'll keep you posted. God bless everyone. Peace out.